Good morning. We are live. And I'm on my own. Give it a few minutes until all of the uh, watchers appear. You're very welcome. Hi, Neil. Hi, Mags. <laughs> We're going to be reading from Luke 11 today as we continue with our readings from uh, Luke's Gospel. Today, Jesus... Uh, teaching on prayer is the uh, is the the reading that we're going to be going for from Luke eleven verse one to thirteen. Morning, Pat. Morning, Neil. Hello again, Mags. Hi, Carl. No, you're not alone. Never alone, are we, Carl? Never alone. John Hall is watching. First time. <laughs> I'll give it a few more uh, a few more moments. But if you've got a Bible, rather than just watching me read, it's good to read along. Uh, Luke 11 is where you need to open up to, just reading the first 13 verses um, of uh, another great chapter. Luke's got so much goodness in it. Did you know that Luke was a doctor? Um, interesting fun fact for you this morning if you didn't know that. But I'm going to start reading anyway from Luke 11, so join me if you want to. And then just share a few comments on this uh, passage. Jesus teaching on prayer. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us, daily, uh, give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. In verse 8 it continues, I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, we'll give him a scorpion. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So Jesus there teaching uh, his disciples another little nugget of gold uh, in terms of how to pray. Um, so often we read that Jesus was caught praying. And uh, I say caught in, in the sense that so often, I think for Christians, it can feel like uh, prayer is maybe an add-on. Prayer is maybe uh, something that we might do when we're desperate or even sometimes something that we're put off doing because of a negative experience, because of prayers that maybe haven't been answered. I've had conversations with, with Christians who, who may believe sometimes that, that prayer might feel pointless at times in their life. And what's the point in praying? If, if God already knows what's going to happen, what's the point in praying? And all these kind of things. And, you know, my answer as often as I can think of is how often was Jesus caught praying? How often was he a prayerful man talking to his father in heaven? And if Jesus did it, if Jesus f found value in prayer, then absolutely we must as well. And in that short passage, we see Jesus sharing um, the Lord's Prayer or, or a shortened version of it in terms of teaching us how to pray. Um, but then he ends with this, uh, this little analogy of a father, uh, a human father, though he be evil, um, though sinful, um, when a child asks him for something, he would give them what they, what they ask for, you know, if it's bread, if it's an egg, if it's food, if it's something else. Um, and then he says, if you, though you're evil, though you people are evil, would give your children what they ask for, how much more is your father in heaven likely to give you something 
uh, when you ask for it? Or how often will he give you the Holy Spirit when you ask for it? And the ultimate gift that we've been given by God is the Holy Spirit, uh, our helper, our advocate. He's there to support us, to guide us, to get us through each day. And it might feel like that right now for you to just get through another day as lockdown eases gradually, as we get back to some form of normality. I want to encourage you to be prayerful, to not just have it as an add-on to your day, to not just have it as a small part of your day, but let prayer be something that ignites the flame in you to do the things that God is calling you to do. Be passionate, be productive. Uh, be purposeful there you are three p's passionate productive purposeful in your prayer life um and and yeah don't just don't just have it as an add-on don't just use prayer as a weapon when we when we're sad or when we're angry or upset or when we need something it should be a daily thing it should be what we start every day with end every day with and throughout the day be prayerful in talking to your heavenly father and asking him for the gift of the holy spirit to to be able to help us and to guide us through all that we are doing. Have a great day. Enjoy the mixture of weather. I think we've got some sun, some rain and some thunderstorms on its way. So uh, be safe, but have a good day. Thank you for watching.